Kyrie Irving, what are you doing, man? Look, this is a warning story from Kyrie Irving, because Kyrie is wildly talented, and when he started coming up and speaking his mind initially, it was refreshing, right? We want honesty from our athletes, and I firmly believe that an honest athlete and a guy who's going to do what he wants to do is better than a guy that's going to toe the line and give you nothing. However, this week, Kyrie Irving is trying to play the Nets into giving him a long-term deal, saying that he's going to opt out of his contract, maybe, and go play somewhere else if they don't want to sign him long. Only problem is, there's nowhere for him to go. Teams that can afford him, they're not contenders. He's going to have to take a ton of less money, maybe a mid-level exception at $10 million instead of $26 million in Los Angeles to go play with the uh, Lakers and win a ring. By the way, you don't want to go play with LeBron James again after everything that happened in Cleveland, and would LeBron want to play with you again? This Nets experiment has been a disaster. By the way, smart bearded man said this when it happened initially, but nobody's counting that. If I'm New Jersey, excuse me, if I'm Brooklyn, why do I want Kyrie back? If you run it back with this roster, are you better off next year than you were this season? What are you adding? Because you don't have a big three anymore. You got a big two, a big two that got swept by a team that couldn't muster more than two wins in the NBA championship. What do you see if you're Brooklyn that gives you confidence that this is the team that puts you over the top? Maybe it's time to rebuild. Go former Celtics big three, Deron Williams, get him the heck out of there. This time you got draft picks, at least more than you had. Kyrie might have blown it all up.